Hello, welcome to Excel Tips by the HR Diary. Today, I'm going to show you how to use Excel index formula. The index formula is another powerful lookup function in Excel. You can use the index formula to return a value in a table given a row number and a column number within that table. The easiest way to understand the index formula is to look at an example. So let's dive in. Here I have some data. To use the index formula, you can type equals to index and open bracket. So you can see there is two ways of using the index formula. The first way is the index array formula. The second is the index reference. Let me first explain how the index array works. So here we have a table of data. I want to use the index function to return the value at the first row and the first column within the table. So at the intercept of, the, of this first row and the first column, which is this number that I want the formula to return. So to get started, let's enter the index formula which is equals to index, open bracket, and then next, we will select the index array. So the first parameter to enter is the source of the data that the index function will use. For our example, we will enter the range of cells C6 to E10. Then I'll put a comma. The second parameter that we must enter is the row position in the table where the value that you want to look up is located. It is important to note that this is the relative row position in the table and not the actual row number in the worksheet. So in our example, since our table consists of cells C6 to E10, these uh, yellow cells, row, row number one would be this C6 to E6 here. And row number two would indicate this row. All right, this is row one, this will be row two, this will be row three, and so on. Since we are looking for a value located in row one, of the table, we will enter the value of 1 here, 1, for the second parameter. Next, the third parameter is the column position in the table where the return value can be found. Just like the second parameter, this value is the relative column position in the table, not the actual column number in the worksheet. So a value of 1 will indicate the first column in the table. A value of 2 indicates the second column and a value of 3 indicates the third column. In this example, we will enter a value of 1 here to indicate that the value we want to return is located in column 1, column 1 in our, of our table. Now that we have entered all the values of the index function. Let's complete the command by closing the, the bracket and then hit enter. You should see the value 3.8 appear. This is the value that is found at the intersection of this row one and column one of the table array that I selected. All right, this covers a simple example of how to use Excel's index array function. Next, I'll explain how the index reference work. To get started, let's enter the index command equals to index and open bracket, put it twice to open bracket, 
All right, so here, the reference can be more than one array. So I will select this column, this first column as the first array, and then put a comma, and I'll select this column as the second array, type in a comma, and this as the third array, and I will close the bracket and put a comma. Then I will type three, which means I want it to look up the third row. One, two, three. I want to look up the values in the third row. And then I will type one, which means third row. And I want it to look up information in the first column. And the last one, the under the area num, I will type in three. Three means that I want it to look up the third array. This is the first array, second, third. So the third array is E6 to E10. So I want you to look up this array. Then I'll close the bracket and hit enter. So you can see it gives me the value 3.2. So 3.2 is this number. Right? So it gives me 3.2. So how does this work? So what this is saying is it looks up the third array. One, this is the first array. This is the second array. So this is the third array. Third array is this column. All right. You look up this array. And within this array, the row number it should look up is the third row. So one, two, three. This is the third row. And there's only one column. So the number is 3.2. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching Excel Tricks by the Hisha Diary. If you are not a subscriber, click below to subscribe so that you'll get notified about similar videos that we upload. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the Hisha Diary channel.